This is for my international love. Whoa, yeah. She tell me so she miss me, she want me come home. She said, baby, I'm so alone. This is for my international love. Whoa, yeah. Yo, this is Jameer Morgan. And right now you're watching the sauce. Keep it tuned. Bless up. <laughs> Hello guys, this is The Sauce and today we have Jamara Morgan. Hi Jamara. What's up? How you doing? Hi Ari. How you finding Kenya? I love Kenya. Have you been chill. out? I need my anything? Kenyan bracelet, you know, I, I lost my Kenyan bracelet. You can get it at um, Kenyatta Market. It's just I will get it. around here. I will get it before tomorrow leaders festival. Yes, you should. You, know? you should compliment <laughs> your tattoos. What do your tattoos mean? This is a tattoo I got in Hawaii. Um, uh -huh. I spent like two months in Hawaii, uh, mm -hmm. after the process of working on my album, and mm -hmm. you know, it's something when you leave Hawaii, it's you need to leave with something a part of the yeah. culture. Just like yeah. when I leave Kenya, I always yeah. leave my bracelet, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's something meaningful of my life. Then get a tattoo for us, too. <laughs> Why not? I went through enough pain with this one. <laughs> okay, I'm um, talking about the album. Yeah. Um, tell us how you worked on it, the creative process behind it. What does self confidence mean to you? Um, self-confidence is everything, you know what I mean? I think, uh, mm -hmm. it, you, once, confidence is key, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, and you approach it, everything it should be confidence. Yeah. Uh, you know, some people approach some things and they approach it with fear and then sometimes it never goes right for them. But when yeah. you approach it with confidence, you know, at least something good comes out of it, you know what I mean? Whether it's, you know, you don't get it or you learn something from it. So, you know what I mean? I wanted this message to be spread to a lot of youths in this time. Even even adults need to hear this message. Mm -hmm. I mean, instead of just making love songs and and just making people party all the time, we need yeah. music. Music is like our Bible in this time, yeah. our modern day Bible. So we should listen to music and it should feed our conscious mind. So that's what I wanted to get out with this album, Self Confidence. Um, the album comes in light of many um, stories about mental health and yeah. people killing themselves, depression and whatnot. Um, so what's your take on mental health? Um, it's all about taking care of yourself, self-love, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's all a part of self-love. You know mm -hmm. I mean? A lot of people give to others and want to make opinions of others and they don't even look in the mirror and say, oh, I need to fix myself before I even try to, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. and that's, all, that's all a part of being confident, you know what I mean? Fixing yourself, self-awareness, self-esteem, you know what I mean? It, it, to become a better person and to take care of yourself, you need to fix here before you reach out. Mm -hmm. How's the reception been for the new album? Um, it's been good. It's been very good. Mm -hmm. You told me to. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, I like Trodin. Yeah, a lot of people love Trodin. Um, yeah. A lot of people have a song called Be Mine on it. Mm -hmm. um, I have my family, Morgan Heritage, on the album. Yeah. How is it different from Transition? Um, in transition, I was transitioning into finding myself <laughs> and, yeah. you know, l learning from, I was being told what to do, you know, like during that process, like, hey, don't do that, don't do that. It's the learning process and mm -hmm. now self-confidence is me applying everything I've learned to do that transition and to believe in myself a little more. Mm -hmm. yeah. Talking about transition, I've already told you I like um, international love and uh, <laughs> forever girl. Um, have you found your forever girl? <laughs> no, I'm here in Kenya trying <laughs> to find it. Yeah. You're trying no, to find yet. your forever girl I'm here. trying to find her. You know, it's, hard, it's hard for me as a musician that's always traveling mm -hmm. and always busy. Mm -hmm. You never get the time to like, you know, because a woman needs time. A woman wants attention. So mm -hmm. when you're up doing interviews and shows and studio and, you know, you don't really have the time to do that. So trying to find a balance. You will. Yeah, you I will. Hope so. That's the live. <laughs> in 2016, you're in um, the country and you talked about um, wanting kids and maybe. <laughs> I <it's>, did? <laughs> yes, you did. That changed. In, yeah. in two, three years. So yeah. the two, three years have passed. Wow. Do you have a kid yet? No. Do? I don't have no kid yet. <laughs> I think I reevaluate that, that statement. <laughs> you <laughs> should. Time we, should, by we, should, we should show you a clip of it and oh then we record the, 
the reaction. How do you see? remember that? <laughs> <laughs> because I watched the videos before. Oh my god, I need to stop saying these things. Yes. I always say these things. I want kids. But then it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I want a lot of kids because I grew up, I have a lot of siblings. Mm -hmm. I have 14 siblings and mm -hmm. um, I want the same for myself. You know, I want to be around. I love young energy around, you know what I mean? So I want kids one day. Maybe when I slow down a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How has your family background in music helped your career? Just having a platform, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'm, I'm grateful to have a platform where I can display my feelings and, and, and message to people, you know what I mean? It's not easy at the same time because it takes a lot of focus and discipline to, you know, to do this thing every day. Every single day, wake up, this is, this is your life. Mm -hmm. you know I and mean? it's not very easy, but you know I mean, we, we've been preparing for it for years and, and since I've been touring with the family since a kid, you know, seeing how the process works and going through the process, failing. Mm -hmm. Adjusting and you know here I am today. You know I love I love doing it. I love how the music affects people and how it inspires people to do things and get up and you know be themselves more than they they, they was you know before listening to the music. So I'm happy for it. Yeah. yeah. So your position is very really unique in terms of you know the the impact from your family. Yeah. But then um, how are you planning to help people who you know? Are trying to come up they're trying to like get uh, people to mentor them or something um what's your take on maybe just helping people who don't have anyone in their corner i would say just learn just learn from others you know that's what i do you know, I, I, I do my research on what brands are out there and and what how their website looks and how the merchandise is set up and you're just just like that you know what i mean it, everything starts from you and when you're putting out that type of frequency in the world, other people will start to attract and say, oh, yeah, you need help, yeah. Oh. yeah. But if you're not doing for yourself, how can someone identify the good in you? So, mm -hmm. yeah, just, I mean, just, yeah, you as yourself have to research and, and try to want what, envision what you want. You're here for the Tomorrow Leaders uh, Festival. Mm -hmm. So what's your take on this project? The Tomorrow Leaders Festival is, is, is a new brand for the family. It's the first annual festival here. Mm -hmm. um, instead of coming to Kenya, my family always wanted to leave something here for the people. You know what I mean? Because Kenyan, Kenyan people are very dear to our hearts. Mm -hmm. And we want to build leaders, more leaders in the community, even in this world. But if mm -hmm. we start here where we love, Mm -hmm. you know, maybe Nigeria, Ghana and all these places will get the same message and say, yeah, we need more leaders. Let's push this message. A lot of people are following and just, they just say yes, yes. They say yes to everything. They just go and go. Yeah. But we're, we're so caught up in our lives and our system that no one is standing up for themselves or standing up for something that's good. So, you know, this lead, Tomorrow Leaders Festival is, we're building leaders for, for the next generation and even this generation now. Mm. You mentioned going on tour when you were a kid with your family. What are the things that you've learned being on tour? Get sleep. <laughs> get sleep. You know I mean, as much mm -hmm. as you, as much as you can, get a little rest. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. uh, touring is not easy. Uh, mm -hmm. People can't see touring. Uh, you, know, you know the things. You know the thing about perspective. Fans will see you and be like, they will see you arrive somewhere at three o'clock, but then and you finish your performance at 3.30, then you have to go leave and go do something else. Mm. And it's, it's, a, it's a type of thing where it's consistent and they don't really see that. They just see you at the venue at three o'clock and think that's it. Yeah, oh, yeah that's an easy life. But it's not. <laughs> it's not easy. It's, it's, it's very hard, you know what I mean? But I love it, you know, I love it. I love talking to people, love, you know what I mean? Because it's, these cameras are, going out to the world and mm -hmm. they get to hear what you have to say so yeah you know. um i suppose you do a lot of studio time um but then how do you unwind after a long day at the studio play xbox <laughs> <laughs> i play xbox bonus uh -huh. play, yeah uh -huh. do you sing to yourself sometimes my cousin eshtimo is here <laughs> on tour he play the guitar and we just mm -hmm. vibe some music you know mm -hmm. just create music you know um do you have any studio pet peeves Studio what? Pet peeves, things that you don't Pet like peeves. around. Oh God, the, a person that studio. can't sing, like when they sing off key, <laughs> or, if, or if you like. Maybe they don't mean to, maybe they're just practicing. Don't come to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> that and, and 
people that are like because I, I love working long hours in the studio mm-hmm, especially mm-hmm. when because when you're in the spirit and then someone mm-hmm. is like getting lazy on you in the studio and won't go sleep and you're like man i have to go to pick up my daughter you're like you're breaking the vibe right now you're breaking the spirit mm-hmm. and that's that's what really yeah i love people that work you can work all the way to the end coming back to your dreadlocks um you mentioned on instagram that of course you had longer dreadlocks when you were little but then you cut them and then i've grown them out again what made you decide to grow them out again um just just the journey the new, the new journey i've been on finding myself mm-hmm. i understand myself and i understand the root and where i come from mm-hmm. and it's it's made me a much better person you know what i mean um and this is this is like my journey it's like my sacrifice and pain mm-hmm. i went through that's what it represents for me. Sing for us a little bit of trotting because I like it. And then we'll talk about trotting because <laughs> I have a question. You can catch me trotting, 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 trotting through the streets of Kenya. You can catch me trotting, 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 even if I me one alone. Catch me trotting, 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 trotting through the streets of Babylon. Trotting, trotting, trotting. Even if I'm me, one alone. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, Trodin, so you mentioned being at the beach or, and um, coming to at Kenya. What? Being on the beach. Oh, <laughs> I thought you said something else. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no, no. At the beach. Being on the beach and um, going on a safari. Mm-hmm. So between the two, which one would you pick if you had to? Well, if the lions were at the safari, I'm going to the safari. Because uh-huh. I love to see lions. I love to see it at Fears for mm-hmm. If the lions is not there, I'm going to the beach. Mm-hmm. Any Kenyan artists that you're thinking of working with when, when now that you're here? Um, this youth named Lavosti. Mm-hmm. I love he's, he's wicked. He's wicked. Power to Lavosti. Yeah, big up Lavosti. <laughs> I've been trying to meet with him since I've been here, but I've been so busy running around. Mm-hmm. So, but big up Lavosti. He's reached out to me even prior to me coming um, landing in um, Nairobi. Mm-hmm. So hopefully we get to collaborate before we leave. That. I also love Willie Paul too. You do? Willie Paul is good. Ooh, Willie, Willie Paul. <laughs> Excuse me, Maneno. Do something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's talk about uh, Buju Banton. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now he's finally out. He's touring and whatnot. So are you thinking of working with him? With Buju? Yeah. Uncle Buju, well, <laughs> if I can, uh, hopefully, yeah. you know. Hopefully, yeah, but we envision it, you know. I mean, we're talking about self confidence, so I believe mm-hmm. that, yeah, maybe one day, yeah. Mm, that's great. Talking about the greats, give us three words of advice that your grandfather has given you know yourself, mm-hmm. manners and respect will carry through the world, mm-hmm. and smile. <laughs> yes, smile. You always Even tell if me you to have smile. Big teeth. You smile. will see a picture with me not smiling. Let's smile together into the camera. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. So in a previous interview you mentioned that you were rapping when you were younger. So do you still rap? Is you this something some you want to do? Yes, I did. <laughs> you have to come prepared. <laughs> yeah, I did a little bit of rap and I haven't done it in a little while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean I've been everybody's just like sing, sing, sing. So mm-hmm. but I, I test it out sometime. You know, when I'm in the studio freestyling or creating mm-hmm. you know the, the music, I'm always freestyling just to come up with words or, or metaphors to, to mm-hmm. you know for the singing and mm-hmm. then yeah so it's always a part of the process still yeah so lastly if you could pick one song that you've written what would be your favorite a song called black page mm-hmm. um, of the album of the new album self-confident mm-hmm. um the song is talking about pe- as, as, as people will argue too much about you know small things and and we always we, you end up having envy for a person and you know just some just unnecessary feelings for, for no reason and the song is basically saying just start off on a blank page you know say i'm sorry if you spill some juice but you know I'm sorry mm. or mm. if you did something wrong just say i'm sorry and move on start off on a new page amazing yeah. thank you <laughs> no problem <laughs> yo what's up guys this is jameer morgan and right now you're watching the sauce make sure you subscribe it's nothing no good without the sauce. Same. <laughs>